from a developer uh, experience update, which is our new weekly, uh, new sprintly uh, update. We are continuing with our migration from the Moodle local code checker Moodle plugin to the Moodle coding style uh, uh, rule set for PHBCS. We've made really good progress. We've gone from around about 20 rules, I think, or 15 to 20 rules. We're now down to the last four remaining sniffs, um, uh, which I hope to finish in the next three weeks. Uh, it's much easier to run, and in many cases, it can actually, actually automatically fix issues uh, where it's able to do so. That's using magic, not AI, or just um, the knowledge that we have. We are also nearly supporting time travel, and that's via MDL 8. 0838. This is not an April Fool's joke. Uh, there is a PHP uh, FIG uh, interface called the Clock Interface, uh, PSR20, uh, which allows us to mock uh, and manipulate date and time. And the idea is that by using that in real code, we can then mock those and manipulate those in unit tests. So instead of having tests which wait for 10 seconds to then be able to do something, we can say, I make this change and now I change the time back 10 seconds or to forward 10 seconds. And we can then, uh, it allows us to capture and detect a whole range of new bugs that we were not previously able to detect, which is awesome and will lead to much more stable code. Um, I have an issue which I would deeply love feedback on, that's MDL 81125, that's looking at changing the way that we do upgrade notes. So for those who aren't aware on the developer side, uh, we use a, a text file, or rather 127 text files dotted around Moodle to note any API changes. Uh, we're looking at some changes to that workflow to uh, move that to a CLI tool, which would allow them to be uh, moved into dev uh, documentation more easily. As, uh, as Jen mentioned, all of the developer documentation for Moodle 4.4 is now complete. Uh, I think, I believe that's the first time that's ever happened. Um, I don't think we have ever actually done all of the developed documentation for a release. Uh, uh, looking at all of the previous releases that I've looked at, they all still have outstanding uh, dev docs. So that's really cool. And I think we can put that down partially to the move to Docusaurus because we've removed um, a lot of the need to, to add that dev docs label in the first place by using pull requests. So people are actively working on the documentation as they write features. And also we've removed the necessity to document some things entirely where those things can be automated already. Um, we also made a minor change to the developer documentation just before the release so that permalinks will work. So any links that are created to things like the dev updates documentation will continue to work after the release. Uh, previously, the documentation for the currently in progress version was in the slash docs, um, and that's been moved to a version um, instead, uh, which is something that was requested in Moodle 4.3's release, and we've now done.